Hi everybody and welcome to episode 3 of Rise and Shine. This is Ruby and today's episode is about fear, or better yet, how to manage it. Fear can be a very bothersome thorn on our side, but it is a normal part of our journey. The key is how to develop a healthy relationship with fear so that it can be a source of motivation rather than a roadblock. But how do you do it? So the first thing to do is to give fear a different meaning in your mind. I read earlier this week that fear could either stand for forget everything and run, or it could mean face everything and rise. You see, courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the persistence and the resilience to keep pushing past it despite all the odds. Fear is uncomfortable but it is also a signal that something bigger is waiting for you right on the other side of it. Fear's job is to wake us up, to prepare us for the next phase, and to also help our inner selves grow bigger so that it can accommodate the size of our dreams and our rewards. Look at it this way. Fear can be a good sign that life is pushing you to stop settling, to challenge the status quo, and to break out of your comfort zone so that you can live a happier and more inspired life. Just like everything else, fear does have its purpose. That being said, I have chosen to accept that fear will always be a part of my journey. And instead of resisting it, I am choosing to make friends with it. Fear only comes when something big is about to happen. So as long as you continue to challenge yourself, fear will always rear its head. Writer Elizabeth Gilbert describes fear as this friend that you keep in the back of your car. And while it's part of your journey, it doesn't get to make any decision-making power about where to turn, where to stop, or where to go. That power is reserved for hope and the love that you have for yourself and what you do. For me, fear tells me that I am bold. And ironically enough, it also reminds me that I am in fact fearless. Because no matter what happens, I don't have it in me to stop challenging myself, but I do have everything in me to give it all that I've got. So I hope that this reminds you that everything that you need to rise and shine to your best self is within you right now. Until next time.